hey guys welcome back to my channel um today i'm going to show you guys how to repurpose bath and body works um candles i have done a, f a couple already but i wanted to show you how to, to do it yourself um first you're going to boil some water so i have the tea kettle going and um i'm just waiting for it to heat up <clears throat> All right guys, so the water is boiled, but I did want to show you something else that I did. Um, it's a do-it-yourself thing. Instead of having the soap bottle on your counter of your sink, I originally wanted a pump one, but um, I had an extra oil dispenser thing. I bought it at the Dollar Tree, and um, I put the soap in there. So it looks nice when you um, have it on your counter. So that's what it looks like when you have it on your counter. Um, I just did my dishes, so there's dishes there, but it looks nice. I like it. Easy and cheap. All right, so back to the candle. Um, you, like I said, you're going to let the water boil. I do have it on the tea kettle right here. Um, it makes me nervous to pour it in there, but that's what you do. So you let you let it it's melting the um wax so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna wait for it to come to the top and then um it comes out really easy and you just wipe it out with a napkin so um i'm gonna let it set for a minute and then i'll show you guys well actually you can actually see it bubbling it's crazy and it smells good because it still smells like the candle All right, guys, so once the um, wax is melted out, you are going to get a napkin and put it in the sink. And then you're going to pour, it's hot, you're going to pour the, uh, you're going to pour it over it so that the wax sticks to it. And I shouldn't have put it over the hole, but that's okay. Um, and then... You're going to get another paper towel. And you're going to wipe it out. The little wick things are there. Um, so you're just going to wipe it out. And it wipes it all out. And then you t that's you taking the wax out. You can also, at that time, oh no, you can't. I was going to say you could pull off the label. Um, so that's what you do, and I totally did it wrong in the sink. Don't follow that because now there's wax in my sink. <laughs> but um, I'll show you guys what I did with them. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I know I don't show my face that much in the cooking videos because I already have everything set up the way that it needs to be, but, um, since I'm showing you something different, you get to see me. Um, okay, so this is the candle once it's all cleaned out. I did wipe it out with a microfiber towel and, um, alright guys, sorry. Um, dog was barking, how to get him out of the room. So, okay. So like I said, I used a microfiber towel to just wipe off the excess. Um, the sink did come out clean. I just cleaned it with um, Ajax or Comet, something like that. Um, so here's the candle. Um, it was a Christmas one, so the lid has little Christmas trees on it. But this is what I do. And this is what um, I'm going to be doing with this one too. So I went to Walmart and I just happened to see the little knobs and I had them on clearance so it was like $1.50 for two of them. I was looking for like cool ones like old fashioned vintage ones but I really hadn't gone to like the thrift store or anything like that so I never found one but um, I just happened to find these and now I wish I would have got two packs because I have a few more candles I hate just throwing them away because they're $24 a piece not that I pay full price ever I always get them on sale but um, that's not the point the point is that 
why not repurpose them and use them for something else if you can so here is two different lids and I put the handle in the middle you can get um, I use the 99 cent store um, adhesive it's like uh, Gorilla Glue you could use Gorilla Glue um, just know that it's gonna take like 24 hours for it to set um, you can use epoxy um, I don't know if you can use crazy glue but so it's stuck on there pretty good I mean there's a little I ended up not waiting long enough and I moved it so that's why there's like some around it um, but what I'm using them for is in the bathroom I have the little tooth dental floss stuff and then I have q-tips and you put them on your counter and they look nice so this one I'm gonna use for my makeup cotton rounds that I use on my vanity so I'm gonna put these in there and let's see I had them in something else but um, it broke so I just have them loose um, let's see I'm trying to oh there okay Sorry, I'm moving, you guys. But, um, and it's cool because it looks cute. I mean, it doesn't, in my opinion. But you could use it, um, for candy, uh, any, like, little things that you don't have anything to put them in, you can put them in there. You, it would look cute with candy for, like, Christmas or, you know, to just have candy on a table somewhere. They don't last in my house, but. Alright, so. Obviously, I don't have a handle, but this is what it looks like. And that's going to bother me with them. Alright. So, there you go. It doesn't have to only be Bath and Body Works candles. It can be any candles. The ones that you get at Walmart. The ones that you get at Target. The ones that you get at the Dollar Tree. Um, like I said, you can do it. It's pretty... It's a cheap way to repurpose your candle jars um i am i love doing you know the diy stuff so um i'll be sharing more with you guys as i go along usually i do it around the holidays and um so they're coming and i'd love to share some of that stuff with you guys but um thank you for watching and i hope you find it useful and you don't throw away your jars anymore don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications. Bye guys.